to develop a list of keywords that you can use in both your resume, but more importantly, as we'll see in a little bit, in your LinkedIn profile. There's a couple of ways you can do this that will really be comprehensive. So the first thing you want to do is start with the things that you already know. And by that I mean you simply get a list of keywords that appear over and over in your resume. That might be from your job description, from your training courses, whatever they may be. So for the sake of example here, let's say that you were interested in logistics management jobs or operations, that sort of thing. So I've created a list here just as a brainstorm to show you what it might look like. So let's say you go through your resume and you find these keywords on the right side listed over and over. This is something that you can also check uh, previous job posts if you have them. Or if you have evaluations from your employers, you can look for keywords like that that are listed in your job duties. And once you've outlined those, then the next step is to try to figure out the keywords that are needed for where you want to go. So you've already got where you've been, but you want to, in your LinkedIn profile, try to have a forward-looking uh, direction to it. And so in this case, let's say that you wanted to get into logistics program management or project management, something like that. So one of the tools that I recommend to people is this website called dejobs.org. It's put out by direct employers, and basically what it is, a website created by a group of uh, large companies and now they have hundreds of companies on here using this there's no advertising which makes it really easy to look through and filter out so you could go to up here dejobs.org and it'll bring up this search box so here's what you want to do think in terms of where you want to go if you're not trying to be in a specific area of the United States for example if you were going to do logistics management in Arlington, Texas, then you would put logistics management up here in Arlington, Texas, or nearby down here in the second box. But if your idea is to be wherever, like overseas, for example, then you want to put not only the keywords that you're looking for on the first line, but also the country. So, for example, let's type in logistics program management in Iraq just as an example so you press find jobs and you'll get a list here so you look down through here and you'll recognize if you've been in contracting for example you'll recognize a lot of the companies that come up so here's an example a program manager in Iraq that is sort of where you want to go so let's look at that one as an example these job posts come directly from the employers, so they're a good indication of what they would use if you were actually applying. So you just read down through the post here, and it'll look for sentences like this. The successful individual will be highly experienced in overseas government operations. So you want to put that on your list. As you read down through here, you'll see is responsible for all aspects of and right there they're giving you a whole list of keywords that you could use so you can just add them to your list and later on you can go back through and make them individual and you'll see why you need that in a little bit same way with this key areas of expertise and support would include and then they have another list of keywords so again, you would copy and paste those on your list. And then as you continue down here, preferred experience. And you're looking for specific types of keyword phrases. So for example, those of you that are familiar with overseas operations would recognize boss or life support services. Or you can see here they're looking for experience in Iraq, Afghanistan, so on. You would definitely want to make sure you have those in there. Management of programs and contracts valued at such and such a level. So what you're doing is combining all this into a list of words. 
and phrases that you'll be able to use as sort of the blueprint for going out and getting not only uh, making sure the keywords are in your profile, but if you have, for example, inventory management, you could get somebody that you know on LinkedIn to endorse you for some of these keywords. Yes, I worked with Joe Smith and he's amazing at inventory management. He managed a, a project that was more than a hundred million and he did it without error, that sort of thing. So you have to make a list of the most important ones that are going to be critical for where you want to go and then start building references, referrals, recommendations, and endorsements to give an overall picture that you have all of those things without overwhelming the recruiter.